Hi, my name is Aaron Zick, and I'm the owner of Heart of Gold Gallery in the Old Village, Mount Pleasant. The gallery focuses on music, portrait, and lifestyle photography. We represent several established photographers. Not only do we love their work, but we love the relationships and stories we have gained from knowing them. Tonight, I'll be sharing photos by my friend and legendary photographer, Neil Preston. Neil's career began 50 years ago in New York City, but it really took off once he moved to Los Angeles, where he established a relationship with Atlantic Records, photographing the biggest names in the music industry. During those years, Neil learned many life lessons. I'm going to share some of those with you tonight. First and foremost, success takes luck, timing, and talent. With regards to luck, early events in Neil's career led him to meet some of the biggest names in music. Timing, the music scene of the early 1970s, was gathering steam and Neil was at the center of it. But his amazing talent got him backstage because he always got the photo. Next up, it's all about access. To quote Neil, once you have access, you must nurture it and treat it with the utmost respect or you can kiss it along with your ass goodbye. Neil learned, that gaining trusted, gain, Neil learned that gaining trust granted you access, and access meant their entire world, from the backstage to the tour plane, the holy grail of which was the recording studio, the most sacred of places. This photo of Dr. Dre was while he was recording an album in the studio. And here, Jimmy Page taking a swig of Jack Daniels backstage before a show. And moments like this, Neil experienced the energy in the room going from zero to 60 in the blink of an eye. Liquid courage. Neil's next truth, there can be a calm before the storm. Neil found that soundcheck provided a rare glimpse into the inner workings and professionalism of the band. Being a witness to musicians prior to going on stage is an experience afforded to very few. Here's Bruce Springsteen in the back of an arena, making, making sure the sound is perfect. And one I'm sure we can all relate to, expect the unexpected. Not everything always goes as planned. In this photo of Robert Plant, the plan was for Led Zeppelin to release two cages of doves at the end of the show. Neil captured this moment of Robert holding a lone dove that refused to leave the stage. Or here, when Neil's assistant had to hold on to the bohemian goddess Stevie Nicks' ankle so she wouldn't fly off the roof during a very windy photo shoot in Venice Beach, California, 1981. This photograph later became an album cover. Speaking of flying off roofs, the job can be downright dangerous. From pyrotechnics and high voltage cables to 500 pound speakers hanging overhead, there's plenty going on to send you into the ER in an instant if you don't keep your wits about you. Pro tip from Neil, always keep an eye out for stage dives. Here, Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam is crowd surfing in Seattle in 1993. This was right before the band really made a name for themselves, and at this point in time, Neil is deeply rooted in the music scene. You have to work with what you got. I'm sorry, sorry, sleep is coveted. You can never get enough on tour. Here is a picture of Neil's hotel room. He slept the least out of anybody on tour. His hotel room ba bathroom would often become a makeshift photo lab so he could process his film, making sure it was ready to go to publications the next day. You have to work with what you got. Neil became an expert at manipulating available light. He was able to create beautiful portraits under time constraints and with limited resources. For instance, while out on the road, Rooms often became his photo studio. He was a master of using just a sliver of natural light or single bedside lamp to create a timeless portrait. In this photograph, Greg Allman was being interviewed for Rolling Stone magazine by the writer Cameron Crowe. This was taken in 1973 when the Allman brothers were playing a show in San Francisco. When you work with what you got, the plan can work. Some of these photographs are spontaneous, while others are planned well in advance. Case in point, this photograph of the Rat Pack. Dean Martin is being goosed by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> For this photograph of Bruce Springsteen at Wembley Stadium, 
Neil and Bruce collaborated to get this unique photograph with the crowd behind Bruce. Neil mounted a camera on the stage and set it up so he could take the photo from below. This moment captured Bruce at his best. Now on to the tough truths. You are not a member of the band. It doesn't matter how much time you've been on the road with the band or drinking whiskey at the after party with the band, you are not a member of the band. This is Leonard Skinner at the Fox Theater in Atlanta in 1975. Neil traveled with one of his music idols, Pete Townsend of The Who, so he really had to keep his cool. Pete Townsend has a lot of charisma on stage, which makes for some dynamic photographs. Finally, and most important, do not kidnap the lead singer, even if he's a willing participant. One day, while on tour with Led Zeppelin, Neil suggested to Robert Plant that they go out for the afternoon to explore. Word on the street, management is still mad. All the photos you've seen here tonight are from Neil's appropriately named book, Exhilarated and Exhausted. Please stop by Heart of Gold Gallery in the Old Village if you'd like to see more of Neil's collection and hear more of his great stories. You can also follow us on Instagram at Heart of Gold Fine Art. Thank you so much.